Hey everybody, how's it going? Per Crown coming out of the YouTube video. Today is AP, Ability Points. Which ones are the best to have? And what three you must have activated on your team? We're up to 70 points. We're up to 70 Ability Points now. And people are... I've been having questions in my comments how to spend them or what to spend them on or uh, what's more important. We have three that are must have halves right now and there is one that's a complete wash it's great at the start of the season but now it's a complete wash and which ones are those right so let's get into it guys i hope you do enjoy the video and if you do give it that thumbs up don't forget to hit in the comment section down below your top three ability points because i'm curious to see if your top three are my top three because i feel like my top three here are the kings of ability points in nhl 23 hut and don't forget to hit that sub button guys so you don't miss any more videos in the future of any ability points how to score goals how to how to make trades how to just how to play the game or you know pack openings and events we put it all on this channel guys and i hope you do enjoy it and i hope you hit that sub button but let's get into ability points ah today feels like a top left day okay so there are a lot of good ability points first between gold and silver is the effect the effectiveness of it gold is more effective than silver if you're wondering what the difference is there that's the difference one the gold ability points are more effective than the silver that's why they cost more that's why you only get one now as for the 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 ability point that i said was great off the start of the year but that is useless now is born leader at the start of every year as long as born leader or a type of ability like this is in the game in october and november it will be fantastic to have because it gives you an energy boost when your team isn't maybe as stacked as it is now right now in hut where we're right around the corner from full-on 99 hut almost every player on your team is high 90s right not all 99 yet getting very close to so you don't really need you don't need board leader at all because you don't care your first second third fourth line they're all studs and by the time you get through all four lines your first line is regenerated again and ready to go so born leader not needed at all this year don't waste the two ability points as a silver i'm sure it's four or five maybe six as a uh, as a gold not worth it at all so what it does provides a large energy boost for all skaters on that team after this player scores a goal Go and get a goal with Matt Sundin, all the energy goes up. But it's not needed this late in the season. Very good in October and November, though. Big tipper. I feel like everyone's hand-eye gets the tips now. And then your patience on the D-line kind of way out the pro of big tipper. So, like, if you pass it back to your blue line and you fire the puck immediately, big tipper might be able to get, like, Wayne Simmons might be able to sprint fast enough to get that tip. But if you wait a little bit longer, you just wait that half a second, He'll get there on his own. You can shoot it and he'll tip it. Big tipper is good, but it's not a must-have. As we get more and more AP points, sure, you could do it if you wanted, but the, the three that I have will take up all your AP points all year, and those are the ones you want to have on your team. And let's get into those right now. The third best, in my opinion, is Unstoppable Force. Advanced Strength with the puck and increased ability to hold on to the puck when off balance, which is very good because the bumping in this game is crazy. Unstoppable Force helps bring up cards that might be slightly under strength or slightly undersized, and that might help you win that up the boards puck battle. Unstoppable Force is number three must have gold, silver, anything. Get it on your team. Number two must have close quarters. All of your really big, tight, in chance shots, you want close quarters on because that'll give you that boost to get in the puck in the net over the goalie's shoulder barred down all the all the wonderful stuff that we're looking for low across the pad under the blocker of the glove still close quarters is the ability that does that you can aim it but it will pinpoint it in there close quarters is a must have when it comes to shots very close high danger zone because it just throws it in the back of the net now advanced accuracy when taking wrist shots snapshots in close proximity to the net that is close quarters and it is a laser right into the corner don't don't hesitate close quarters must be had it's it, it'll give you that goal almost every single time its effectiveness is fantastic and you'll see it always pop up on the card when you shoot with a guy in close to the net that scores a goal it'll be close quarters activated and i mean i got it on wayne simmons he's my fourth liner but he does play on my top power play i will get into that in another video don't miss that it's a really good one but uh but yeah even on my fourth line i spend eight ap points and the best ability point out there is none other than truculence it's cheap it's effective it's god tier it's the best thing you can put on your team 
there are there are teams just built of truculence there are people that will not put a guy on their team unless he has gold or silver truculence and for good reason it dominates you get anywhere near a guy with truculence and he bumps you you are flying off the puck the only thing to counter truculence is unstoppable force which is again why it's on this list but truculence is unreal if you haven't used it start using it you'll love it and you'll see why it's number one on my list but advanced stability and assist on shoulder checks increased chances of knocking knocking over opponents and and sat and sapping their energy yeah that's right taking their energy knocking them off the puck sending the play the other way truculence is the only way to go it is a must if you have a player with truculence anywhere on your team anywhere in your lineup activate it love it that's it truculence is the best now when it comes to a close honorable mention no contest is good it's cheaper than unstoppable force but it doesn't apply as in carrying the puck it's retrieving the puck so that's why i took unstoppable force over no contest i do like no contest it it helps you get in the, against the boards and win those puck battles but i feel like you're carrying the puck more than you're battling for the puck so that's why i take unstoppable force over no contest so yeah guys those are my three um major ap that are must be had if if you're not running those i get it people like the speed they like the wheels they, they like elite edges and those are very good but with the agility the way it is right now and top end speed players have right now i feel like those two are good but they do not surpass the three that we've got on this list i do hope you guys enjoy the video i do hope it helped and don't forget to hit that comment section down below with what your top three are because i really am curious guys until next time ciao ciao